Hello, I am the judge. Hello, I am the big bad wolf. Hello, I am Curly the pig. Hello, I am the attorney for wolf. Hello, I am attorney for pig. Hello, welcome to the Timor Mock Trial News. I am Alvin and today's case is between Curly the pig and BB Wolf. Let's go to the court and find out what's happening. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Paul presiding. You may all be seated. Today's case is that of Wolf versus Pig. Big Bad Wolf is suing Curly Pig for attempted wolf cooking. Wolf claims that Curly Pig is liable to pay for damages to Wolf's fur and for mental pain that the Wolf suffered when Curly Pig tried to kill and cook Wolf. Opening statements from the attorney for the Wolf. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, in this case, we will show that last August 19th, the defendant Curly Pig placed a steaming cauldron of boiling water in the spot where Pig was sure BB Wolf would show up, and then Curly's cookbook was found open to the recipe for cooked wolf. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Attorney for the Wolf. Attorney for the Pig, your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, BB Wolf's charge is ridiculous. We will show that the cauldron was inside Curly Pig's home, that BB Wolf was trying to enter illegally and was forced. We will also show that BB Wolf's actions were the latest of the long series of harassments of the Pig family, harassments that include the eating of Curly Pig's two brothers, Larry and Moe. We will show that Curly Pig was merely protecting her home and life. Thank you. Thank you, attorney for the pig. Attorney for the wolf, you may call your first witness. I call BB Wolf as my first witness. BB Wolf, you may approach the stand. Please place your left paw and raise your right paw. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll help you DC4? I do. You may be seated. And so did you? Well, yes and no. That is, I started to, but when I got almost all the way down, suddenly someone took the lid of this cauldron of water boiling down there. Someone wanted me to fall into the pot. Objection! The witness is guessing my client's motives. I agree. Objection sustained. Continue with a new question. The jury will disregard the last statement made by the wolf. Then what happened? Well, lucky for me, the steam was so powerful that it just sort of pushed me right up and out of the chimney. I took off and decided Curly Pig was no friend of mine. Did the steam hurt you? Well, yeah, so my fur burned off and it burned my skin. And of course, it burned my tail! <gasps> Your Honor, no further questions. Defense or attorney, you may cross-examine the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Well, isn't it true that you ate Curly's two brothers, Larry and Mel? Absolutely not. I didn't even know Curly had two brothers. Isn't it also true that you came to Curly's house that you can eat Curly? No, this is insulting. One last question. What's your middle name? Ben. Objection! The attorney for Pink is favoring my client! Uh, overruled. This is a cross-examination. Please be seated. No further questions. Please state your name. Curly Pig. What's your address? I, I live at 283 Style, just off Mud Avenue. Now, Curly, are you familiar with the plaintiff in the case of P.B. Wolf? And are you, as Wolf has testified, a good friend? Oh, yes, I know B. Wolf. He's a wolf in sheep closet. Now, wait a minute. Just because I'm wearing my sheepskin coat, is there some law against that? Wolf is trying to get us if I wolf is done. Let me tell you. Order, order. Wolf and pig, please. If you don't stop bickering, I will hold you both in contempt of court. Let's continue with the questioning. 
going back a bit then. Surely, how did you first come to know Phoebe Wolf? Well, not under the friendliest terms. I started knowing when he huffed and puffed and blew in the houses of my two brothers, Larry and Mo. I meant to talk going too far. Nobody told this wolf that breaking and entering doesn't mean breaking the whole house and then enter.